Villa 2, Wolves 0. I'll do Gary O'Neill's fist bumps for this one. Hey, hey! Uh, Aston Villa, you know, <sighs> big win, big win from a team that we very rarely get any points from uh, in the Premier League at home anyway. So, huge win for Aston Villa. Massive for the Champions League race. The atmosphere in that second half was so, so good when they were singing about small leaf getting battered every week. So, and even seeing like Louise joining in, it was it was really good. But you know, on the game, I thought we were okay. I thought we were good. Were we at our scintillating best? No. Was it quite competitive? A bit cagey? Yes, I thought we started pretty slow. I thought Doyle was running the show for the first 15 minutes, but when we started to get a grip on the game in the second half. First half, sorry, we just looked like we had a little bit more control. Diaby's goal was absolutely fantastic. You know, that's what he's all about. Getting it on that left foot, pinging it in. And, uh, you know, 1-0 leading into half-time. Second half, again, I thought we started quite slow, but then we grew into the game. Big thing for me squad depth. I thought Uno Emery's substitutions are absolutely brilliant. I thought the introduction of Zaniolo, yeah, Duran had to come on for Oli Watkins, but I thought both of them added some added some aggression into our game and added a little bit more of a physical presence. Zaniolo, I thought, was just a driving force in that second half. I thought he was very, very good for us. As we can't say, did he mean it? Let's say he meant it, because it was his first goal might be one of his only goals for Aston Villa. Nice little dink towards the back post uh, and a great little chip. So, yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely buzzing about the victory because, you know, we don't normally beat these. And, you know, it feels special this season. It feels like something's bubbling. And if beating Wolves at home is one of them things that we've done this season that helps us on our way, then, then fair enough. But, you know, Wolves, I thought they were good. I thought they were competitive with their injuries across their front lines. So I think credit goes to them for making it a really difficult game for Aston Villa. But one of the things that we need to do in this running now, our next eight games, is just just dig in and win. You know, I, I spoke about it early on in the week that, you know, we can play great football and lose. So it's all about getting those points and getting the victories. And I think today showed a, a Villa side that can go deep into games that can play our way you know we controlled the game for for large parts with our possession it was very controlled from the villa front and i'm really happy that we've beat wolves 2-0 and we are now ahead of spurs again so up the villa